dust here, okay? I had these braids in for like, I don't know, like two weeks. And they're really dirty and they're growing out. So it's time for them to go. You can see my nails. I'm trying to learn how to do my own nails. I broke my middle finger, so don't look at that one. But I redid these and you know, I made them shorter because these are like way longer. And they didn't come out half bad. Like they really didn't. Besides the fact that like I was an idiot and tried to start filing this side. So I got some little dusty dust. But yeah, so we're gonna go from this to my two double buns. So yeah, stay tuned. So, unlike most people, I just pull my braids out of my hair. Um, I definitely am going to show you guys how to just cut your braids short and unbraid them. Because that's what most people do. But, you know, I just roughhouse it and I grab the roots, literally, of the braid. And I snatch the braid off of my hair. Because... It literally takes two seconds, which you're going to see me do after I unbraid this one for you guys. See how I just snatched it out? Like you just grab the top of the braid and slide the hair down your hair. And sometimes your hair can be super, super braided into it. So if it's not easily coming off, just unbraid it. Many videos now. You see how she acts? She not gonna take a video till I do Featuring. Featuring idiot girl. <laughs> Y'all, my hair is so crusty. And I was gonna feel. I was gonna feel some type of way to burn that shit. Oh, you wanna say hi to YouTube? She still. I mean, Rain, say hi to YouTube. Hey, you guys. over and I'm just talking to blast through it but I could care less oh I have yet to pick up this product so I washed my hair and I did this rain at the back because y'all know I'm slow and I can't see if there's somebody around don't care who you is you gonna help me so yeah I got this little part going and I'm putting in my Cantu same regular schmegular Cantu Oil. Yeah. I'm about to detangle it and speed that part up. Once I get my hair detangled, it's simple. I'm just gonna gel it and put it up in the bun. Now, I did forget to do the two rubber band parts that I do on this side of my hair before I gelled it up into the bun. So I just went back and did it. It wasn't anything that deep. It was already slicked into a bun, so I just had to put it right back up with the rubber bands. What 
if I don't like you after a while, though. And I really make money off that video. I can't take it down. Because I make money off this video. Okay, I love you, Autumn. That's a cover song. It'll be in my description box. Okay, okay. So, same process for the other side. No condition, brush it out, gel it up, and don't forget to do your two rubber band parts. I made this side looser to make making the parts easier for myself. If you're new to my channel, you should know that I love doing things with rubber band parts. Um, I just did four for this style and I braided my hair down to incorporate them into the buns. So once I'm finished making my buns, I have to make the buns with my Water Wave 22 inch free truss braid here. And it's super curly and uniform. So I went ahead and fluffed it out to get a nice fluffy bun. So I just went ahead and did my first bun to see how it would look and because it was a little difficult to see on camera but the second one I wrapped around on camera and I used a rubber band to wrap around the hair to get it onto my hair but I would recommend if you're a beginner using a regular hair tie. So I'm going to start wrapping and wrapping and once I get to the ends where I start doing the curly pieces like I just pull the hairs out, pull the bun around, make it look how I want. So that's really up to how you want your bun to look at that point. Sometimes little pieces stick up at the top of the bun, so I'll take a bobby pin and just push them down into my bun so that they don't. But other than that, the style is done and you're ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a good one, you guys.